हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2005 एग्जाम एंड इज फॉर टू मार्क्स यू नीड टू फाइंड द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस कोड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस प्रोग्राम नाउ यू नो एग्जीक्यूशन ऑलवेज बिगन्स फ्रॉम द मेन फंक्शन दैट मींस फर्स्ट लाइन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड इज दिस वन सो इट इज अ फंक्शन कॉल फॉर एवरी फंक्शन कॉल यू आर गोइंग टू पुश अ एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड ऑन टू द स्टैक सो एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड फॉर मेन इज पुश्ड ओके all the local variables of this function will be allocated here so first line of this main is int a is equal to 2048 and sum is equal to 0 that means this so you are declaring two integer variables a and sum the values assigned to these variables are 2048 and 0 okay see to find the output you just need to execute this main function main has only three lines 1 2 and 3 just execute these three lines and you will get the output but the second line it is a complex one just to execute this one line you need to execute this entire code because this is a function call so let's just see what will happen when this will be executed i have told you for every function call a activation record will be pushed on to the stack corresponding to that function so corresponding to this function foo this one a activation record will be pushed on to the stack like this okay now you are passing a and sum to these variables value of a is given to n and value of sum is given to sum see in foo you will have two local variables n and sum this is n and this is sum you are passing a to n value of a is 2048 this is given to n value of sum is 0 this is given to sum now please note this sum and this sum they are different variables this sum it is local to main function and this sum it is local to foo function this sum can only be used inside these brackets okay so the value is copied as it is now see you are trying to execute this line for executing this line you have just pushed a new activation record and you have begun you have just begun executing these lines after completely executing this one you will come back and resume from here okay so after all of this has been done you are going to execute this line that is print f or the last line so i am just keeping a record that after executing this one completely i have to return back to line number 11 so here i will return back to line number 11 you please write this whenever you are solving such questions please write these things because after executing this line you might forget that last line is still remaining okay so this might help you anyways now the values are copied first line is k is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 you are declaring two integer variables k and j values of k and j are 0 0 okay next line is if n is equal to equal to 0 then return but n has value 2048 so you need not return next line is k is equal to n modulus 10 so value of n is 2048 2048 modulus 10 will give you 8 okay see just perform this division you are going to get remainder as 8 so this 8 is updated as new value of k k was already 0 now we are updating its value and saving 8 here okay and next line says j is equal to n by 10 so n is 2048 n by 10 will give you 204.8 but see this j it is an integer variable rather all of the variables are integer so we are working with integers that means we are going to take only the integer part so just ignore this part okay that means 204 will be saved in j so update the value of j to 204 okay 
नो सम इज इक्वल टू सम प्लस के करंट वैल्यू ऑफ सम इट इज जीरो सो जीरो प्लस के करंट वैल्यू ऑफ के इट इज एट दिस इज सेव्ड इन टू सम ओके दैट मीन्स दिस वैल्यू विल बी अपडेटेड टू जीरो प्लस एट विच इज एट आई एम अपडेटिंग इट हेयर ओनली ओके लाइक दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट लाइन इज फू जे कॉमा सम दिस वन अगेन इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स लाइन सी वी जस्ट नीड वी जस्ट नीड टू एग्जीक्यूट दीज थ्री लाइन्स बट सेकेंड लाइन वॉज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स वन फॉर एग्जीक्यूटिंग दिस ऑल ऑफ दीज लाइन हैव टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एंड अगेन हेयर सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग टू एग्जीक्यूट जस्ट दिस लाइन यू हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट ऑल ऑफ दीज लाइन्स वंस अगेन दिस इज अ फंक्शन कॉल दैट टू द सेम फंक्शन ओनली फू इज कॉल इन फू दैट मीन्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम रिकर्शन ओके now you are going to execute this line but remember after completely executing this one you have to come back and you will execute print f okay so this is line number 7 that means once this has been completely done you will come back and you are going to execute line number 7 for this function call all of the lines Till six have been executed, okay? Or you can say till five they have been executed. After completely executing line number six, you are going to execute line number seven. I am remembering that line number seven is still remaining, okay? Now see, we are passing the values j and sum to n and sum. So a new activation record is pushed for this function call. This is function foo. J is passed to n. Value of J is currently two zero four, so n will get two zero four. Value of sum is passed as it is to sum, sum, sum. So sum is currently eight, so we are saving eight and sum. Then we are declaring two variables k and j. See, this is now new function call. Again, I have to start executing all of these lines. So, first line I've executed. Two variables are declared. Then, as n is equal to zero, no, n is two zero four for this function call. Okay, for this local variable n, it does not have value zero, so you cannot return. Then, k is equal to n modulus ten. N modulus ten will give you four. And j is equal to n divided by ten. That will give you twenty. Okay. Then sum is equal to sum plus k. Sum is equal to eight plus four. That is twelve. So update this value to twelve, like this. Then again there is a function call. So this one is a again complex line. For executing this line, you have to again execute all of these lines. Okay. This is recursion. So I am executing this line number six. For executing this one, I have to push a new activation record onto the stack, and I am passing j to n and sum to sum. So current value of j it is twenty. This is passed to n, like this. Okay. This n corresponds to the new function that has just now been called. Okay. So n and sum. They are these variables. I am passing the values of j and sum. So j is passed to n and sum is twelve. It is passed to sum only. Okay, like this. And then first line is k is equal to zero. J is equal to zero. Second line is if n is equal to zero, return. No, we need not return because value of n is currently twenty. Third line is k is equal to n modulus ten. So n modulus 10. The remainder will be zero only because 20 is divisible by 10. J is equal to n divided by 10. So 20 divided by 10 will give you two, like this. Okay. Now sum is equal to sum plus k. Sum is currently 12. So 12 plus zero is the new value of sum, which is 12 only. Okay. So this line is also done. Again, there is one more function call. So push one more activation record. 
in new function that has just now been called that is this function only j is passed to n so j is currently 2 that means value of n is going to be 2 here okay and sum is passed to sum so value of sum it is going to be this 12 okay then second line is if n is equal to 0 okay yeah one more thing here whenever you will return that means after executing this function call you have to execute line number 7 here also you have to execute line number 7 okay now see we have declared k and j is equal to 0 so k is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 then n is not 0 so you need not return then value of k is updated to n modulus 10 2 modulus 10 this will give you 2 so k is updated to 2 and j is equal to n divided by 10 n divided by 10 will be 0 because 2 divided by 10 will be 0 point something that is 0 0.2 and you need to take only the integer part so new value will be 0 only okay then sum is equal to sum plus k so 12 plus 2 will be 14 so i am updating sum new value is 14 then again there is a function call foo j comma sum so pass the value of j and sum to n and sum so a new activation record will be pushed here like this okay but remember that currently we are here this is a function call so i have pushed the new activation record and all of these lines have to be executed once again after executing them i have to come back and execute this line number seven for this function okay so i'm remembering that i'm writing seven here like this okay now let's start executing this foo once again so j is passed to n n will get the value of j j is equal to zero okay and then sum is passed to sum sum is 14 like this okay then ex uh, execute this line the first line of the function so it says declare k and j k is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 then when you execute this line see what will happen if n is 0 then return and n is actually 0 so you can return return means execution of this function is complete you can skip all of these lines so execution is complete and hence you can just pop the activation record for this function first time till now function foo has executed completely for all of the previous function calls still one line is remaining okay now you have executed this completely that means this activation record will be popped okay so we will come back to the previous call and you can see one line is remaining that is line number seven so line number seven is print person d comma k that means inside this activation record see whatever is the value of k and print it don't take these values we need these this value only okay so k is 2 first thing that is going to be printed is 2 now see this was the last line last line is executed for this one so function has ended that means this will be popped and you will go back to the previous function okay resume the previous function from wherever you have left we have left on line number 7. So execute line number 7 for this call. Line number 7 is print k. k is 0. So I am printing 0. Again all of the lines have ended for this call also. Because we have executed the last line. right? So pop it. Come back to the previous call. Here we need to execute or we need to resume from line number 7. Because this last line was uh, remaining. So just print the value of k it is this again same thing will happen here also print the value of k it is this now this one will also be popped and you can resume the execution of main see 
in starting i have told you that you need to execute only three lines the lines that are present in main one two three now by doing all of this you have executed the second line now you execute now you want to execute the third line okay see when this is popped you will see that line number 11 is remaining so execute line number 11 that means this print it has print sum 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 is currently zero okay print sum will take the local variable sum the variable that is local to this function okay and it has this one so it is having current value as zero so print zero like this so this is the output now see if you don't do all of this and if you just try to analyze it that means if you don't use a pen and paper you might get some answer and you might get 204814 you might get this answer this is incorrect and surely you will find this one in options okay this is incorrect see how can you get this answer you can analyze this orally without using a pen and paper you can see that first thing that is happening is 2048 is passed value of a is passed and then you are trying to separate this last digit so 8 is separated like this see 8 is separated and 204 is passed value of j is 204 so both of these are separated this is kept as it is and then you are doing the same thing here also so 4 is separated and 20 is separated like this then again same thing is happening here so you are separating all the digits 2, 0, 4 and 8 they are separated then see you are adding these values see sum is equal to sum plus k so k has value 8 you are adding sum and 8 sum was initially 0 so 8 is added and this new value is given to the latest function call okay so 8 is passed here that means the new function call will have this value 8 to that you are adding the last variable or the last digit of the number that is 4 again this value is passed to the new function call because you are passing sum here okay then 0 will be added then 2 will be added and so on so in last function call the value of sum will be 2 plus 0 plus 4 plus 8 that is 14 so you can see sum is 14 but the thing is you are not printing this this value will be lost you have calculated the sum of all the digits and that value is lost you haven't printed it again this function will have the value of all the digits this one is also not printed this function will have the value of this much okay 0 plus 4 plus 8 this is also not printed nothing is printed and we have to return back to this uh, original function call that is main in main you are trying to print sum which has not yet been altered even once you declared sum is equal to zero and it is being printed as it is so sum is printed okay this one is the answer this one will be present in the options surely but this is incorrect next thing is i haven't actually seen the options maybe some option will also have this two zero four eight zero maybe i'm not sure because of this percent n see this new line it will be done after printing so after printing this zero you have to go to new line and after that you are not printing anything that means this is correct so answer is 20480 okay